I think one brother just asked me about um, whether it is it was important to seek knowledge other than the knowledge of the Deen. Is it important? Is it important? Yeah. Yes, of course important. Yeah. yeah. So because also from this surah, Allah did not say, Oh Allah give us what in this world in the hereafter only. It is things in this world. If you don't have any, don't have any jobs or any good education, how are you supposed to help the poor? How are you supposed to raise a family? So it is important for us to also not just spend 24 hours in the mosque. We have to think of society too. If everybody is in the mosque, who is going to run the country? Who is going to be in the power in the, in the, in the political scene? Isn't it true? Have anybody heard any minister being appointed just because he was in the mosque 24 hours a day? Never. You must have education, you must have knowledge. Importantly, you must be able to mix with the non-Muslims in order to understand the problems of the, what we face in this world. Okay, because a lot of people have this misconception that oh, you must all only mix with the Muslims, and that's why. In yes, of course, your majority of brothers must be the Muslims because this, uh, we are our awliya, we are protectors of one another. But it's important for us to also mix with non-Muslims in order for us to understand what is the problems in this world and also in order for us to help them inshallah to guide them to Islam okay so don't just be in your own pot in your own mosque without realizing what's happening in the world okay now next the dua for the parents Rabbana ghafirli wali wali daya wali mu'minina yawma yaqumul hisab I will Lord forgive me and my parents and all the believers on the day when the reckoning will be established. Okay, it is important for us to make dua for our parents. Okay, so one of our duties of a Muslim is to make dua for the parents. Okay, the next one is dua for forgiveness. Since Ramadan, we are always asking Allah for forgiveness. This is the best dua of forgiveness. If you die in the morning and we reset this, Sorry, if you reset this in the morning and die in the evening, inshallah, you will be forgiven of all your sins. And if you die in the morning, when you reset in the evening, you will be forgiven of all your sins, inshallah. Okay? Allahumma anta rabbi. La ilaha illa anta. Khalaqtani. Wa ana abduka. Wa ana ala ahdika. Wa ma'adika. Masta ta'atu A'udhu bika Min syarri ma sana'atu Abu ulaka Bin ni'matika alaya Wa abu'u Bi dhambi faghfir li Fa innahu La yaghfiru dhunuba Illa anta Oh Allah, you are my Lord. None has the right to be worshipped but you. You created me and I'm your slave and I'm faithful to my covenant and my promise as much as I can. I seek refuge with you from all the evil I've done. I acknowledge before you all the blessings you have bestowed upon me and I confess to you all my sins so I entreat you to forgive my sins for nobody can forgive sins except you. The next one again, dua of forgiveness of Prophet Adam alayhi salam. Yeah, not, not Ibrahim, Adam alayhi salam for forgiveness. When, was, when did it occur? Sorry? Yeah, yeah, from the tree. Yes. Forgiveness. Because of his sin of um, eating the forbidden fruit. Okay, so this is according to some scholars one of the first few verse things that he said. Yeah, to one of his first few um, speech that he made. Yeah, to ask Allah for forgiveness. Yeah. Together, Rabbana, Tolamna. Anfusana Wa illam taghfir lana Wa tarhamna La nakunanna minal khasirin Means our Lord we have wronged ourselves If you forgive us not and bestow not us Upon us your mercy We shall certainly be of the losers Okay the next Skip 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 Then we go to number 8 Page number 5 Remember only Allah can give us guidance we need to seek Allah, Allah's guidance all the time. Together, Ya Muqallib al-Qulubi, 
Thabbit Qalbi Ala Dinik Rabbana La Tuzil Qulubana Ba'da Il Hadaitana Wahab Lana Min Ladunka Rahmah Innaka Antal Wahab Miss O, you changes the heart, make my heart firm on your religion Our Lord, let not our hearts deviate from the truth after you have guided us and grant us mercy from you truly. You are the bestower. The next is uh, number 11. And page number 6. It's a dua to increase our knowledge, inshallah. The knowledge that we gain in steps of Allah all the time will be with us all the time. Rabbi zidni ilma. Which means, my Lord, increase me in knowledge. Okay, the next is du'a na, page number 7, number 14. The one that we recited just now from Surah At-Tahrim, verse number 8. To ask Allah to give us His light. Yeah, number 14. Rabbana, atmim lana, nurana, waghfir lana, inna ka ala kulli shay'in qadir. This is our Lord. Keep perfect our light for us and grant us forgiveness. Verily, you are able to do all things. Number 15, we need also to ask Hu'a to accept all our deeds. Do not take it for granted that Allah will accept our deeds, but we need to ask Allah to accept our deeds. Who recite this Hu'a? Prophet Ibrahim. Ibrahim salam when he was making the Kaaba. Okay? Can you imagine even if a prophet of Allah asking Allah to accept their deeds? What about us? Okay, we need to ask Allah all the time to accept our deeds. Important du'a to follow Ibrahim alaihi salam together. Rabbana taqabbal minna. Inna ka anta sami'ul alim. Means our Lord accept this service from us. Verily you are the all hearer, the all knower. Number 16, because we will be tested for one whole month of our patience. It's an important du'a for us. Who recite this du'a? Patience. Who recite this du'a? Mm. Familiar, isn't it? Ayub. No, it's not a prophet. Who recite this du'a? Sisters, who recite this du'a? Uh, Maryam. No. Anybody? No, I say it's not a prophet. Who recite this du'a? No. <laughs> it, are, no? <laughs> it is a very beautiful, touching story. Whenever I recite the Quran, when I come across this story, I will cry. No, I will cry every time I come across this. Remember the. Sorceress, the sorcerers of Musa alayhi salam, they refused to believe in Allah. Yes, there was a battle, isn't it? They were doing their magic first. Yeah. Then immediately after that, Allah said, "Tell Musa alayhi salam, drop your stick." And then Allah, with Allah's will, the stick eat everything. Then immediately the sorcerers or the magicians see this, saw this. They say that this cannot be a magic. This is from Allah. Immediately, they everybody, all of them, they bow down to the Lord of Musa, which is Allah. Yeah. And after that, Fir'aun was very unhappy. Fir'aun immediately threatened to punish them and punish them. He cut the right hand and left leg, and left leg, or right leg and right hand. Yeah. But They were not moved at all. They said, "You want to kill? Kill me." Yeah, because it was it was amazing. If you read the story, it's good. This is their du'a. Okay, whatever things that fall upon them, they trust Allah immediately. Okay, this is important du'a for Allah to give us patience and us call cause us to die as Muslims. Okay, when you know the story, then you will appreciate the du'a, inshallah. Okay, together. Rabbana, afril alayna sabran, watawafana muslimin. 
Okay, our Lord pour out on us patience and cause us to die as Muslims. Okay. Uh, the next dua is dua number 17, a dua to put our trust in Allah. Rabbana alayna tawakkalna wa ilayka anabna wa ilayka al-masir. Our Lord, in you alone we put our trust and to you alone we turn in repentance and to you alone is our final return. The next is a dua on number 19 because all of us, uh, maybe inshallah Ramadan, shaitan is all in the hellfire, we, that not really interfere us. But it's important for us to seek with Allah uh, uh, protection from a heart that has no khushu or submission to Allah. Yeah? Together.